calculation of equation, moles, solid, liquid, and gas formula for the advanced level. Student, previously, we learned using the solid, liquid, and gas formula to deal with calculation. And last time, what I show you is to do link in this way. So at that time, I give you the equation. But in true, it will be show like the question will show like this. That means you have to construct the equation yourself to do the rest. And now I'm going to show you how to construct an equation. And now let's start off with the acid calculation. Now let's start. Here you see three equations. We will focus the top two and dealing with the last one later stage. The top one, acid plus metal forms salt and hydrogen gas. Second equation, acid plus metal hydroxide forms salt and water. Metal hydroxide also means base. Acid means any type of acid. If you react with any type of metal, long as on the periodic tables of the metal side, they all will form into salt and hydrogen gas. Onto the second table, acid react with base metal hydroxide all form into salt and water. You will notice that of these two equations have many similarity. They both form using acid, but one form hydrogen gas, second form water. So please learn it, these two equation well. Student, I like to highlight the word salt that some students get confused. What is salt? Salt is a common name we call. This in fact is means a any ionic compound is a salt. Salt is made of positive and a negative ion. You can see on the table, you can see on the table, calcium, metal ion, chloride, non-metal ion, magnesium, metal ion, chloride, non-metal ion, calcium, metal ion, sulfate, non-metal ion, and so on. So this is salt ionic compound remember ionic compound writing metal first non-metal second acid with carbonate we deal with it later student you have already learned the ion table of the valency that i highlight to you of all the positive ion and the negative ion. You may refresh yourself of this valency now. And now I'm going to teach you about the common acid and base, which show onto the common acid and base, which you also require to learn the formula and to learn the name well. Now let's start. I cross out certain that maybe you can learn it at a later stage. Okay, now let's start. HCl, hydrochloric acid. Please learn the formula and the name. Strong acid, HCl, hydrochloric acid. HCl, hydrochloric acid. H2SO4, sulfuric acid, strong acid. H2SO4, sulfuric acid. H2SO4, 
sulfuric acid another strong acid HNO3 nitric acid HNO3 nitric acid HNO3 nitric acid please learn the name and the formula well a type of weak acid H2CO3 carbolic acid H2CO3 carbolic acid H2CO3 carbolic acid now we're going to learn the base NaOH sodium hydroxide NaOH sodium hydroxide NaOH sodium hydroxide KOH potassium hydroxide KOH potassium hydroxide KOH potassium hydroxide MgOH2 magnesium hydroxide MgOH2 magnesium hydroxide MgOH2 magnesium hydroxide CaOH2 calcium hydroxide CaOH2 calcium hydroxide CaOH2 calcium hydroxide Student, this list is important for your chemistry. So on your future chemistry, you require to learn well on to the valency charge of the iron and the acid and the common acid and the base. Please learn it properly and learn it well. And now with this background of the PVS2 equation of acid plus base from salt and water, the second equation, acid plus metal from salt and hydrogen gas. Now we're going to use it to construct equation. I'm going to give four examples. So first of all, let's start hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide what equation should form first you will form it form HCl plus NaOH water and a salt what type of salt should it be it should be a metal positive and a non-metal negative ion. Metal come first, non-metal come second. So that the salt, what sort of salt should it form? Hydrochloric acid plus calcium chloride. What should it form? Is the formula HCl correct? How about calcium hydroxide? Is it correct? Look, this is correct. Why? OH is 1 minus calcium 2 plus, so you need 2. So please remember the valency so now what should it form it should form into water and a salt what type of salt student you can just highlight the metal and the non-metal and as you see 
the other part they already the H and the OH already form into water. So you can ignore the H and OH and then focus on to the metal and the non-metal. Metal come first, non-metal come second. Is this correct? No. Because of the remember the valency. Ca2 plus Cl1 minus. So that is correct. And what this implication mean? Now you will because of this valency. Now you will affect your balancing. So you will you require two HCl and form two water. So what happened if you run in this iron valency? You will have the wrong balancing and you will have the wrong ratio. What happened the ratio wrong? The whole equation calculation going to be wrong. Now let's do another one. HCl, magnesium hydroxide. Is it correct? Mg2 plus OH1 minus. That's not correct. That is correct. You have to be have two magnesium hydroxide. And so what should it form? Acid plus base should form salt and water. We write down the water and then we highlight the metal iron and the non-metal iron. So what should it form? Is it correct? Wait, magnesium 2 plus chloride 1 minus. That is correct. And so the balance is going to be 2 HCl, 1 magnesium hydroxide, 1 MgCl2, and 2 H2O. Do one more. Sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide. What should it form? Water and metal, not metal. Is it correct? Na1 plus SO4 2 minus. So you need 2. So what will be the balancing now? You require two NaOH and keep, keep producing two water. So student, on this demonstration, once again, I say earlier, you have to learn this valency well. If you, do, if you stuff up on your valency, your equation will be wrong. When your equation wrong, the ratio will be wrong. When the ratio wrong, all your solid liquid gas calculation will be wrong. So chemistry are linked very closely together. One part fail, the rest of the part fall, fall aside. So please learn it properly. Okay, now let's do the second part. Acid react with metal. What should it form? I hope you remember acid react with metal should form salt and hydrogen gas. So now let's do this equation. HCl plus zinc. Zinc valency 2 plus. It should form hydrogen gas. So you can expand this H form hydrogen gas. And what sort of salt should it form? A metal and a non-metal iron. Zinc is 2 plus, remember. Is it correct? 
call right only one minus you need two and the balancing two that's correct now let's do sulfuric acid with zinc what's sulfuric acid h2so4 plus zinc give some salt and hydrogen gas what sort of salt will form zinc sulfate is it correct zinc two plus sulfate two minus is correct nitric acid with zinc what should it form HNO3 please remember form hydrogen gas and zinc and nitrate is it correct zinc 2 plus nitrate 1 minus so you need 2 so the balancing going to be 2 2 nitric acid okay student i hope now you will start to see how important chemistry every part link so closely together now i'm going to do the last part this is for more advanced student to deal with the calcium carbon carbonate um, or you can um, yes please learn this calcium carbonate if you if you can now we look on to the bottom part of the equation calcium carbonate form always will have a rule whenever acid react with carbonate they always form carbon dioxide and water and salt so i want to highlight a few things what is carbonate carbonate the valency is two minus please remember so sodium and carbonate sodium one plus you need two sodium to form a carbonate carbon dioxide and water is a must rule so any acid react with carbonate always going to form carbon dioxide and water and salt now let's do on to the example hcl plus is it correct calcium 2 plus carbonate 2 minus is correct what should it form first write the water and carbon dioxide and then what sort of salt going to be a metal non-metal is it correct no you need two this is correct but now we have to balance this is correct do the next one hydrochloric acid plus sodium carbonate is it correct carbonate two minus remember sodium one plus this is correct what will you give write down carbon dioxide and water and what sort of salt will form metal non-metal sodium chloride now balancing student so far you learn about the iron valency and the common acid and base of the name and the equation so you can see every part so far you learn in chemistry 
are closely linked together. So please learn all part well and try to refresh every part.